Hello and welcome to Scottish Car Enthusiasts and Trains TV and it's part three of our Bring Back Max Power series where we're continuing to look at the May, uh, sorry, September 1999 edition of Max Power magazine. So why are we bringing back Max Power? Well, on the 23rd of July 2023, just over a month's time, we'll be heading to the Max Power reunion show to see Max Power era cars, um, Jamie Shaw from Charisma, um, Charisma, Charisma's latest car, DJ Richie Dawn, um, usual costs of bringing 15 uh, show cars, and there'll be 700 plus show cars on display for, for everyone to look at. So that's on the 23rd of July, 2023. If you're looking for more information, then why not head along to the Max Power Reunion Show Facebook, uh, Facebook page or Instagram page and follow the links to the main website where you can purchase stickers, lanyards, air fresheners and much, much more. So without much further ado, let's get into part three of Bring Back Max Power. So we kick off part three with Max Power Live 1999 at the Birmingham NEC. It was billed as the fastest, loudest car show ever and the first Max Power Live lived up to all the expectations. So we've got a nips alert here which I'm just covering with my finger. We've got Jordan. Um, chest beautiful is the description that Max Power have given Jordan and I've got to agree Jordan back in 1999 was a beautiful um, girl. Unfortunately, just due to all the surgery and the like, she's now the most sort of uh, hated person by a lot of people nowadays. And um, it just goes to show you what the difference a few, a few years can make. Right, we'll just head over to the next page. So we've got a, a Jedi here, a Volkswagen. I think it's probably a Golf. Renault McGann, I think that's um, oh, Terry or Paul Swift sort of thing. Some of the Max Power girls there, the staffers. There's Jackie Degg there. Jordan again. I think that's Terry Grant actually. Moving on, we've got an advert for the Royal Marines. After week 12, you never look back or down. Then we move on to our next feature car. This is a Peugeot 205 GTI or a Gutman GTI. Welcome to Giza World where cars have their cocks hanging out and James Farmer is king. And then we've got an advert for, is your girlfriend weighing down your cars, save weight, fit lighter wheels. And this is an advert for TSW Alloys. So, Pug's Tasteful, not a Hong Kong fully assault on the senses. So why don't we have a look at the tech spec on this 205. So it's a 1900cc 4 cylinder 8 valve, it's got a skimmed head, fast road cam, k &N filter, PMC twin DTM exhaust. It's a 5 speed manual, suspension wise it's got Kony adjustable shocks and coilovers and a strut brace. Brakes are front Willwood vented discs and calipers, rear are standard discs and calipers, with braided steel hoses and Mintex pads all round. Wheels and tyres, you've got 7x17 7 7 inch ATP Venoms on Pirelli, P7000, 205, 40, 17 tyres. Bodywork, you've got a Gutman Racing Look 2 body kit, consisting of front and rear valances, front and rear arches and grille, T16 roof spoiler, um, clear indicators, rear wiper, removed oval side repeaters, tinted Rear light clusters, 
factory half lever interior, Momo steering wheel, carbon fibre gear knob, carbon look dash trim and custom mats. Ice wise it's got Alpine CD head unit with remote control, two Kenwood 4 inch HQ series speakers, two Jensen 12 inch subs, Rockford Fosgate punch series amp, Kenwood 716 amp. Performance max power 170 brake horsepower, max speed of 135, 0 to 60 in about 7 seconds or under, that's just the owner's estimate. Reader car of summer 1999, you could win racing lessons. For two, just by voting for your favourite car of 1999. So you got a Corsa, Audi A3, another Corsa, an Astra, RS Turbo, Renault 5, Fiesta, Demaro Clio, Clio Williams 3, an RS Custom, 205 GTI, 306. Another Astra, another Fiesta, 3 Series Compact, a Civic, Astra GTE, Nova, 106 and a Calibra. Then we have an advert for You Can't Touch a Back to Black Bumper. Simone is not just bright, brilliant. So it's a back to black trim. And we're moving over to a competition where you could have won um, sport track tires. And we have a nips alert because this is Carmageddon and this is Northampton Cruise. So how does Northampton Cruise score in the table? It scores a total of 25, putting it in 6th place in the Max Power League table. So why don't we have a look at uh, Northampton Cruise. Got nips all out there. Just have my fingers covered up. I'll probably have to uh, put a wee bit of editing in there. And another nips all out here. So next we've got the section of on the pool. Um, Northampton's nicest and naughtiest tell all. So you've got Karina. Tori, Cordelia, Danielle, Lindsay and Georgina. And remember this, as we always say in this part of Max Power, bring back Max Power, is that this was what it was like back in the day. Um, so girls would come along to car shows and they'd get asked, uh, car, car meets like cruises and they'd get asked a series of questions by team from Max Power. It was a car or booze. This is Olivia's choice. And this is a young chap with a Fiat Pinto. Um, they were, my parents were worried. Uh, drink and drive explains Suki. So my parents said to buy me a car if I stopped drinking. It took me less than a second to make up my mind. I thought the cop was a lollipop man, so I didn't pull over. So let's have a look at the tech spec on this Fiat Punto. So this is a Fiat Punto 75SX, powered by a 1242cc 4-cylinder 8-valve with a k induction kit, Bosch Super 4 spark plugs, 
Clifford and Telestart remote starting, Group N OMP exhaust, a 35 inch, sorry, 3.5 inch outlet and decap pipe. It's powered by the factory five speed manual gearbox. Suspension wise, it's on spacks, shocks, and springs, 35 millimeters lower all round. Eye back anti roll bars, eye back front strut brace. Brakes are standard discs with Mintex pads and rear drum brakes with fake disc covers. Wheels and tyres are 7x17 inch LG 037s. Uh, Leak Integral 205-40-17 Uniroyal RT11 tyres. Bodywork, it's got a full or barf body kit incorporating. Um, smoothed front bumper, smoothed rear bumper, side skirts, rear roof spoiler, brake light, Moretto twin headlamps, M3 mirrors, super impressive bonnet scoop, our barf smoked front indicators, smoked side repeaters, debadged and delocked rear wiper and graphics. Uh, rear wiper and graphics have been removed, tinted windows, single wiper conversion on the front. Here it's got Kobia RS Targa seats. Red steering wheel, white dials, aluminium gear knob, Hawkwood sill protectors, Jamex pedals, dash events and door handles, colour coded in silver. Rear headrest uh, conversion. Um, ice wise it's got a Panasonic FX77 cassette head unit with 8 disc changer, Alpine front components, Infinity 60s, 60CS components in rear, two atomic 12 inch subs, Caliber CA350 amp, Alpine V12 F250 amp. Performance, hmm, best not to mention that. So that is Suki's Fiat Punto. I've always liked this little generation of Punto. Um, it was real; they were really nice when they when they came out back in, in the early nineties, and. I've seen I've seen a couple at uh, Practical Classics and Restoration Show, and they still look as good as they did when they were launched back in the early nineties. And we're going to finish this part with a Volkswagen Golf Thrash at Santa Pords in North Hant on July the ninth, nineteen ninety nine. So let's have a look at some Volkswagen Golfs. So you've got. Fan Fantastica with 395 brake horsepower. And you've got all four one. Plum motor. The sheep and wolf's clothing. Cool blue. And then we have double trouble. Then we have Cover Car, Golf Rado, and For Sale. Moving over to this, we've got an advert for Alpine, Pure Power. Sorry, Pioneer, not Alpine. Then we have Saran Gas and Small Tackle and Inside Job. And we'll finish this um, part three of Bring Back Max Power with an advert for a mobile phone on the Philips C12 handset from BT Cellnet. So, that is part three of our Bring Back Max Power series. We'll be back shortly with part four of Bring Back Max Power. In between this video, you will probably see another car that we featured at uh, one of our car meets in, in more detail. You might have just seen it in a sort of brief passing in, a, in the main videos. Of, 
of one of meets we've been to, but we just want to do like a, a bring back Max Power and highlight a car that we quite enjoyed at a car meet. So you'll probably see that before you see part four. But anyway, I'd just like to thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe at Scottish Car Enthusiasts and Trains TV. And we'll catch you in a future video soon. Farewell.